Hey, how you guys? This is Idar from Red Archer Leather and I want to share some information on really cool practice routine I have been doing for a while and it helped me personally a lot with consistency and the mental part of a shot. What's cool about it is that you can adapt it to any style of shooting at any skill level. If you novice and you've been shooting for two weeks or you've been shooting for a decade, it doesn't matter. If you're shooting compound bow, you're shooting recurve long bow, it doesn't matter. If you bow hunt or target shoot, it doesn't matter. If you're instinctive shooter or aimer, it doesn't matter. It can be adapted. And that practice routine will improve your archery skills. Here we go. I will try to be quick and not waste too much of your time, but I wanna say something before I start. I will not be shooting in this video because this is not what this video is about. Uh, I mainly shoot berry bow and we're in the middle of ASA season and we have a state championship in about two weeks so that's what I'm practicing about. Most of my shots will happen between 25 to 30 yards. Uh, so this is my practice. I'll tell you later how to change that routine to whatever style of shooting you're doing. So I have a rope. It's a 10 yard rope with a plastic golf practice bowls attach at one yard increment that 11 markers on the rope from zero all the way to 10 it doesn't even be anything fancy like that you can have yard tape on the ground you can mark it with your foot you can put the sticks down there if you shoot instinctive you don't need your specific yard you just mark it whatever distances you normally shoot but here's my practice I practice with one arrow at a time and the first marker it sits at 20 yards to 3D target I'm trying to hit. And my target is a 10 ring. I'm aiming and trying to hit a 10 ring on 3D targets. So 20 yards, I'm gonna have my shot. If I hit the 10 ring, I'm gonna move back one yard. If I hit another 10, I'm gonna move 10, uh, one yard again. If I hit another 10, I move back again. You got the idea. So if you shoot good, you're moving back. Here's the thing, if you have a good practice, you might finish the whole routine in about 11 shots. Good for you, good shooting. But if that happens too often, you might want to extend your distances or reduce size of your target to make it more challenging. So what's gonna happen if you don't hit a 10? I'm gonna hit an eight from that mark. I'm gonna move forward one yard. If I hit the next shot, I'm gonna hit a five. I'm gonna move two marks forward. Again, you got the idea. If you hit the target, you're moving back. If you miss it, your target, you move forward. So what's good about this routine, for example, if you're good under 25 yards, you're gonna get that yardage pretty quickly. You're gonna get to that mark pretty quick. You might have one or two off shots, but you'll be there in no time. But that's where the practice will start because for example if you're struggling at 26 27 28 29 yards that's where you're going to be shooting your you're going to move back and forth in those yardages that's where your practice is going to happen you're going to practice the shots you need to be practiced and that's going to help with consistency that's how this routine going to help you with mental part of a uh, archery for example once you get to the end of a rope there's a few thoughts can be in your head. One thought, oh, I have not missed a 10. I'm awesome and you're so excited about it. Or opposite, you can be saying like, I just spent two hours, I just shot 27 yards about 100 times at mosquitoes, it's hot. Please, please, please don't miss. You need to get over. And those thoughts are wrong, both of them. You cannot be excited, you cannot be upset or frustrated because it doesn't matter if a 20 yard shot or 30 yard shot, it's the same shot. Follow your process, do your steps, and the results will follow. Remember that. It doesn't matter mentally, physically, it's the same shot. It doesn't matter what distance you're shooting. It's the first shot or last shot. Remember that. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you how to adapt that routine to other styles or skills of shooting. Okay, uh, here's some obvious adjustments you can make. Uh, you can move that markers closer to the target. So you can be shooting, for example, from five to 15 yards or from 10 to 20 or 15 to 25. 
or you can increase the size of a target trying to hit. It could be IBO 11, ASA 12, 10 ring, 8 ring, insert, maybe even the whole target. It doesn't need to be a 3D target. You can put a bail and put the pipe plates on different sizes, bigger, smaller. Uh, you can shoot Dixie cup, uh, depending on the skill you have or type of equipment you've been shooting. Uh, I've been shooting that thing in my living room. Uh, I have a blank bell station, which I can shoot from three yards to eight yards. And I'll be moving back, shooting a little dot down there on the blank bell uh, when it's raining. So it can be adjusted and adapted, which is what's nice about it to any skill, any type of shooting. So hopefully this video helped you and let me know what you think and give me some ideas. Maybe it need be something you might change on it. Uh, leave a comments. Shoot straight guys, have fun.